Remove everything from inside the base unit and place the base unit upside down on the floor. Screw the four leveler feet into the four pre-drilled holes on the bottom of the unit. Once secure, flip the base unit upright. Open the cabinet door and locate the three pre-drilled holes on the inside of the door. Secure the front handle to the door with the screwdriver and the three provided screws. On the front right side of the cabinet, locate the three pairs of pre-drilled holes. This is where the front right support attaches to the bottom of the cabinet. Ensure that the open corner of the front support is facing inwards towards the back left corner of the cabinet. Line up the six pre-drilled holes and attach the front right support to the inside of the cabinet with the machine screws. Repeat on the left side of the front left support. Locate the back supports. Please note these parts are interchangeable on the left or right position. Locate the three pairs of pre-drilled holes on the back side of the cabinet. Installing the supports is a two-person job. One person holds the support, while the other person secures the machine screws with a screwdriver. Follow the same steps for the opposite support. Locate the half-inch pipe assembly A. The top will hook over the back supports and line up with the pre-drilled holes. Orient the pipes so that the hose pipe is on the left side of the cabinet. Secure with machine screws front and back on each side. Attach the top of the unit to the front and back supports by first ensuring the wood panel is facing outwards. Then screw in the front and back supports using the provided machine screws into the pre-drilled holes. These screws should be inserted from the outside of the cabinet and the back supports will be on the inside of the top assembly. Insert the reservoir divider by using the pre-installed channels. Ensure that the cutout hole is in the top back side of the cabinet. Locate the two four-foot LED lights. Notice the light controls. Screw in one half of the daisy chain provided to the end furthest away from the controls. This is your left LED. Screw in the other end of the daisy chain into the other LED. This time it's closest to the end with the controls. This will be your right LED. Next, locate the power cord from one of your LED packages and secure it to the bottom right LED. Attach the LED to the left support bar by pressing the light into the light clips attached to the inside of the support bar. Ensure the cutout lines of the support bar match the controls of the LED and that the LED is centered along the bar. Note, you will not be using the onboard controls for these LEDs. You will use the external timers. The daisy chain connecting the lights will be at the top of the cabinet. Locate the cable holders on the inside of the top cabinet. This will hold the wires in place. Locate the power bar. With the wire of the power bar facing to the back of the cabinet, mount the power bar to the inside of the cabinet by connecting the two pegs to the back side of the eyelets of the power bar. Place the reservoir on the left side of the vertical partition in the bottom of the cabinet. Attach one end of the air stone tube to the air pump and place the air pump to the right side of the vertical partition in the cabinet. Run the air pump tube through the circle cutout in the vertical partition and attach the air stone. You may then rest the air stone into the reservoir. Screw plumbing assembly B into the top of the water pump. And connect to the control valve of plumbing assembly A. Plug the included timers into the power bar. Then plug the LEDs and the pump into their respective timer. Locate the drip tray and the 3 quarter inch pipe. Attach the pipe to the bottom of the drain. Place the drip tray assembly on the top of the cabinet. Ensure that the imprint of the three towers is positioned at the back. And it's helpful to tilt the front side while tucking the water pipe into the U-channel and then lowering it back into place. 
Place the strainer into the designated hole in the drop tray assembly. Place the drip tray cover onto the drop tray assembly. Locate your three zip crow towers. With the hook end facing upwards, secure each tower into the steel water pipe on the front top of the cabinet. Ensure that each pipe is centered over the pre-installed grommets. Congratulations, your zip garden is installed. You're now ready to grow.